Welcome back to Inside IUE Sports. It's like an exciting time to be a part of Red Wolf Nation as we look forward to the inaugural season of IU East Soccer here uh, at IU East. Joining me now to talk about the men's program is head coach Steve Moore. Coach, thanks for joining me today. Absolutely. Uh, let's just talk a little bit about what you've seen out of the team so far. I know practices have been underway for a little while now. Just what are you seeing out of them so far? Sure. Um, you know, we got started August 1st, um, and so we're about a week and a half in, and it's been it's been a good week and a half, long week and a half, but a good week and a half. Um, you know, obviously starting from from uh, from ground zero, there's a lot that we got to work on, a lot to see. Um, we've got a handful of guys that played together, maybe with their club team, with the high school team, and so we had seen those guys play together. Um, but for the most part, we've got a full roster that's never played together, and so there's just a lot to get through, a lot to sort out, and get our um, style of play. Um, in, integrated in what they're doing, um, it's been good. Um, you know, we've had a good work rate. The guys are receptive. Um, the guys are enthusiastic about being here um, and the situation that we're in with being a new program. But a um, lot to work on. A uh, lot, lot still to get to, um, and that just comes with the comes with the territory with being a brand new program and, and never having had guys play together before. Well, you talk about the recruiting process, especially starting up a new program. How hard is it to get players to commit to a program that? hasn't started yet because they know nothing about it. Sure. Um, I, I was just thinking about it earlier today. I'm about six days out from having been here a year. Um, and a lot of miles went into it, a lot of emails, a lot of phone calls. Sure. Um, and, uh, you know, I went in never having started a program before, rebuilt programs before, but never having started one. Um, you know, knowing that, hey, there's a, a, an IU brand uh, that academically we get to sell. Mm -hmm. um, and so figured that that was going to be a good thing. Um, I never want to say that recruiting is easy, um, but it went really well. Um, you know, there's a lot of, you know, despite the fact that we didn't have a product on the field for guys to see, to fight, despite the fact that we didn't have guys on the team for, the, for recruits to be able to hang out with, spend time with, see what kind of a fit they would have on the team, um, it went really well. Um, there were a lot of guys that were interested. Um, you know, it, it's probably the first place that I've been um, NAIA Division Three wise that you know we've actually been able to be pretty selective, uh, mm -hmm. which is um, a really encouraging. Being that this was our first year, it really uh, bodes well for the future. Um, mm -hmm. That you know, first year, geez, we're already able to be selective and say, you know, I don't know, I don't know that that so and so that your talent level is quite there. Um, or the character or whatever the, the holdup is, um, we were really able to be pretty selective and, and I think uh, end up with a pretty good squad the first year. All right, well, let's go ahead and talk about your roster. Start off by telling us a little bit about uh, freshman Aaron Gibson. Sure. Uh, Aaron's uh, from Southern California. Um, uh, definitely a, a new environment uh, for him to be at. Sure. Um, he uh, texted over the summer saying, hey, coach, you know, I'm going out running probably later tonight about 9 o'clock because it's about 120 degrees today during the day uh, where he's from. So definitely an environmental adjustment for him. Uh, right. He's done great uh, jumping right in. Uh, and I would say kind of across the board, we've had great, uh, great success with guys getting along with each other, uh, getting in the mix, um, and he's absolutely jumped right in. And uh, personality has definitely been coming out the last week or so. So really excited for his future. Another freshman out of Fortville, Indiana, Josh Powell. Yep, um, Josh is a guy um, that I saw my very first week. Uh, uh, high school he played for, Mount Vernon was out here playing Richmond, um, and he was a guy right from the get-go that uh, um, stood out um, as, as a goalkeeper um, that, that, I, that I think could and, and should have success at this level. Um, he's got the physical component, his size-wise, athleticism. Um, we got a commanding presence back there, definitely um, willing to, to direct um, and, and give instruction to his defenders, um, and uh, it's been a, has had a good, uh, good transition to the college level for him. How about Zach Yaya from uh, Lebanon, Ohio? Yep, yep. Zach, uh, Zach came to us about midway through the process. Uh, came out for uh, for our ID camp back in December, um, and. Uh, he's had a little bit of a slow start. I know he was had a big, big family vacation that was long coming that kept him from training throughout the, all the way through the summer. Uh, so it started a little bit slow, but he's been coming on well. Uh, takes instruction well, listens, uh, implements that instruction into, into his game, and so I think that he's he's had a good camp as well. Uh, out of Fort Wayne, Indiana, tell us a little bit about Billy Guerrero. Um, Billy's done really well. Um, uh, gets along with guys, real technical player. Uh, definitely will uh, will see time in the in the in the middle of the field for us. Um, uh, 
Uh, yeah, he's, like I say, just a, just a calming presence, moves the ball well, technically uh, pretty adept, um, and, and is one, you know, Fort Wayne's, Fort Wayne's a, an area that uh, gets a lot of talent coming out of there. It's been great to have him on board. Not the first guy from Fort Wayne to commit, but definitely uh, is, is, has been a help to kind of establish a pipeline up there for us. All right. How about uh, Nathan Dove, also out of Fort Wayne? Nathan, Nate's also uh, same high school as Billy, a year out. Um, he's a transfer for us. Played at Tiffin last year. Um, Nate's a workhorse. Um, you know, he plays a number of different positions. Um, we've played him a bit outside back. We've played him in the middle. We played him up top. Played him all over the place. Um, he's got an engine, um, willing to do whatever it takes, um, and that's 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 what we want. Um, he goes about goes about his business, doesn't complain, works hard. Um, say I'm not sure. Even still, you know, week and a half in, we got our first scrimmage on Saturday. Still not exactly sure where his best fit is. Um, he could fill a lot of holes for us, and we're say excited, excited for for a transfer. Excited to have that kind of leadership on the team. All right. How about Nick Valentine from California? Yep. Nick's also another uh, one of our. I think we've got three juniors on the team. Um, so uh, definitely, he's got the opportunity to step up. He's got the experience. Um, played at a high level this summer. Um, so knows that level. Um, you just wanting him to uh, kind of assume that leadership position. Um, you know, and kind of. Uh, take things over. He can play as a center back. I know he spent some time this summer playing uh, as kind of a defensive mid, uh, but he's got a lot of potential as well um, and, and, and could be, uh, hopefully will be, um, that player that helps helps us transition in, in the short term. All right. How about Nate Gunther? Uh, Nate's another transfer, one of, again, one of our other juniors, uh, transferred in from St. Joe's, uh, Division II. Um, so he's seen a high level. Uh, his, uh, his team at St. Joe's had a lot of success his freshman year. Um, and so uh, he's another guy uh, that's got the potential to, the level-wise anyway, uh, should be able to make the transition here pretty seamlessly. Then from Greenfield, Indiana, how about Carson Jones? Uh, Carson's a high school teammate with, uh, with uh, Josh. Um, same thing, saw him play. Um, Carson is smooth. Um, He's not necessarily the player that uh, is flashy all over the place, uh, but he does a lot of good things. He, he, he's a good teammate in terms he plays up top, um, big, got a lot of size. He probably uh, will want to get him filled out over the coming years. He's pretty thin right now, uh, but good size, uh, can, is still good on the ball, um, and so he pairs really well with a couple of the guys that we've been looking at uh, to play up top. And when we're trying to figure out who's the best team, uh, some of that is who pairs really well. So he's put himself in a good spot that way. All right, uh, from there, how about Alex Anderson out of Hunterstown, Indiana? Yep, yep, Alec, um, Alex, one of a couple guys that we have from Carroll High School up in Fort Wayne. Um, big, strong kid, um, plays in the center of the field. Um, not sure if we'll have him more of an attacking role, if we'll play him more uh, defensive midfield type of position, but just a big, strong kid um, and is going gonna, is gonna to transition well to the college game that way. A lot of times, the two biggest things usually normally that we see transition-wise that guys struggle with um, is the physicality of the college game and speed of play of the college game. Um, and For sure, from a physicality standpoint, Alex Alex going to transition well because he's, he's just physically... Uh, bigger and stronger than a lot of the guys uh, and, and should make a pretty good transition that way. He's a little bit, got a bit of a quad issue that, that he's dealing with right now. We've got a number of guys um, that, are, that are dealing with some, some tweaks. Uh, nothing, we've been really, really fortunate in that nobody's had anything serious. Uh, that, that's, that's, you know, normally a lot of places I've been, geez, by this point we've got someone that's, you know, hey, we know they're going to be out for a month, month and a half, and we've been really fortunate in that there's not, been nothing serious. Uh, so as soon as Al gets back, uh, I'm anxious for that uh, because he's, he's a presence in the midfield. Um, but, uh, yeah. All right, then how about Tyler Fox from Clayton? Tyler Fox is uh, a consummate teammate, um, works hard, listens, asks questions. Um, it's, it's rare that we've got to hound on him for something over and over. He does a good job of incorporating things into, the, into his play. Um, uh, not coming in as, as probably our most skilled player, so uh, there, there's work to be done. Um, but he, he's got the personality, he's got the work rate that, that he's working on those things. So when we give him things, when he comes and asks for, for things that he can work on, he's listening. You can tell that he's engaged that way. Um, and so I think that there's, um, 
He's got a lot of potential for improvement, um, and I saw improvement if, from his game even even throughout the course of the recruiting process. And so I'm, um, I'm I'm anxious to see. I think that the player that we see in four years graduating is a completely different player than the player that we see now, uh, because he's got a lot of like I say, a lot of a lot of opportunity for improvement, and he, and, he, and he's a worker. From Fair, Fairfield, Ohio, uh, how about Daniel Sims? Yeah, Danny. Danny's a great kid. Um, again. It's similar, it's similar to Tyler in that works hard, um, doing what he's doing. Maybe he's had a bit more experience. Um, he's a guy that can play a number of spots. I know he played kind of some attacking mid. He played up top for his high school team. Uh, we'll probably see him more out wide, um, but uh, not the not the, probably the smallest guy in stature on our squad. Um, big heart, uh, works hard. Uh, we'll do anything that we ask of him. All right. How about Dumi uh, Kumwinda from Malawi? Yep, yep. Dumi's another transfer for us. Uh, played down in Louisiana, um, another NAI school last year that went to the national tournament. So um, really, really excited that anytime you can have players that have, have experienced that level of success, um, that's a good thing, especially for right. a program that's brand new that, you know, hey, we say all the things that we want. We want to we wanna have that kind of success. You know, it's one thing to say it, it's another thing to know what it takes to, to get there. Um, right. and so having that kind of experience is, is great. Um, Dumi's uh, tremendously athletic. Um, we've, we've spent some time with him up top. Um, we've got, uh, got some time that we've spent recently with him playing in back. Um, he's a vocal player. Um, Dumi's, Dumi's going to see a lot of time for us this year. I'm excited for, uh, I don't know exactly where he's going to end up by the end of the year where we're playing him. <laughs> Um, you know, but but invariably he's going to be getting time, um, and I'm excited for. Uh, he's got a lot of personality too. Um, you know, you got to have those glue glue guys off the field that are gonna right. that are gonna kind of bind the team together, and he's he's one of those guys. All right, then how about Liam Healy from Lockridge, Australia? Yep, yep. Liam and Dume both transferred from the same school, so okay. uh, their loss is our gain. Um, Liam's Liam's been out the past few days. He's got a bit of an issue with with quads as well. Um, and I think that uh, yeah, he's, he's another really vocal player, plays at the back, center back's probably his spot. Um, and he's uh, definitely a vocal leader player back there. Uh, just a matter of getting him healthy, getting him back on the field so that we can um, get him fit, um, get him integrated into that group that plays back there. It's um, playing back there. Um, you all got to be on the same page. Um, and so he's definitely, he's definitely being held back by the injury, being able to kind of est establish a rapport back there with those guys. Um, but the you know, sooner we can get him back, the better off it's going to be for, for both him and for us. All right. Then how about Gaston Pondel out of Indianapolis? Uh, Gaston's another, I think, our last junior that we have on the squad. Uh, transfers in from uh, Illinois Central College. Very good uh, junior college over in Peoria um, from Indianapolis. Uh, and you, know, you don't have to watch Gaston play very long to know that he, he, he gets it. He kn knows the game, understands the game. We put him a couple different spots. We played him wide. We played him central in the midfield, um, and he, he, he gets it. He understands right. the game. We can put him in different spots. Uh, ICC's traditionally been a very strong program, uh, been in the national tournament uh, on a semi-regular basis. Um, Good program, sending sending high level players often, and so him having had that again, similar to Dumi, similar to Liam, having had that experience is is really going to be beneficial for us, especially as a, as a new program. All right, uh, from there, how about Keegan Shiflett from Walkerton? Yep, Keegan uh, Keegan's had has had a, has had a couple practices recently. Not to say that the previous ones weren't this way, but the past couple practices, he's really stepped up, raised his level. Um, We've asked him with with having had a number of guys banged up, we've kind of moved him around, and he's just raised his game and filled in where it need be, um, mm -hmm. and kind of taken the bull by the horn, so to speak. Um, he's he's a guy that's that, that's that's taking it and saying, hey, uh, I'm going to make make with, of this what I want. Um, again, I don't know exactly where he's going to play. Um, we're still sorting that out. We've got uh, we're running out of time before our first <laughs> scrimmages, but but he's definitely going to be a guy that uh, he's got the motor. Um, he's got the technical ability that he's going to, we're going to find a place for him. All right, then how about Teddy Bogba? Uh, Teddy uh, transferred in from Ancilla, uh, junior college up in uh, northern Indiana, went to the national tournament last year, NJCAA, um, finished really well. Um, and so he's obviously been around, high level of play, a number of his teammates transfer on, high level Division II, Division I schools, and so he you know, knows that level. Um, 
Teddy's uh, tremendously athletic, um, super positive, uh, always encouraging teammates. Uh, work rate is outstanding. Um, Teddy's biggest thing is just uh, going to be uh, consistency. Uh, consistency, uh, taking direction as he transitions from one program to ours um, with what we want from him. Um, primarily going to be a center back for us, or I'm sorry, an outside back for us, and just being able to transition into doing the, the, the little things that, that, that may be a little bit different here from what he was expected from, of um, at Ancilla. Um, the quicker he can transition, like I say, he's definitely got the physical tools, just a matter, matter of uh, those mental and uh, um, those kind of tools that way. Then how about Ivan Cabrera? Yep, um, Ivan, uh, super great kid. Um, just uh, every practice. Hey, coach. Thanks, coach. Um, just, just a great kid to have on the team. Um, positive. Um, he's dealing with a bit of a uh, um, sickness right now, uh, but for the most part, um, great worker. Um, transitioning. Uh, yeah, I would say that he's going to be one that's going to deal with, uh, like I say, the two big transitions: physicality, speed of play. Um, the quicker he can. You know, he's not. A, he's a kind of slight kid. Uh, not. Not really built that well um, so you're gonna have to we're gonna, we're gonna find him in the weight room a little bit once it gets to off season um, but uh, you know, getting the physicality up to the snuff um, getting the speed of play uh, he's played a bit for us central central midfield wise um, probably more suited to playing out wide at least until like I say we can we can pack some pounds on him um, but uh, great kid works hard uh, listens uh, another one of those glue guys off the field is kind of binding teammates together personality wise all right. How about uh, Justin Wiry? Justin, um, this kid from just over uh, Franklin Central over in Indianapolis, uh, so close to home. Um, Justin's uh, beginning to open up a bit more. He's not the not the most vocal guy in general, uh, but you know, week and a half in, I'm starting to hear him take more of a vocal uh, stance, being being more vocal that way, uh, being more um, directive of teammates with what he wants. Um, that's a good thing. Um, we can't less. You got to have teams that talk a lot, win a lot. Generally speaking, sure. um, you know, communication is a big key, and so getting him just to kind of open up and and take and, and take over that aspect of the game is going to be a good thing for us. He's uh, basically played his whole life as an outside back, and so that's probably where we'll see him primarily. Um, again, his speed of play, physicality wise, he's he's, he's a bit bigger, um, and so that's a good thing. Uh, but just getting getting his speed of play. Uh, sped up from what he was used to high school and club wise so the college level is going to be his kind of his objective primarily all right and how about connor hoop uh connor's another guy uh teammates with billy or i'm sorry not with billy with uh alec up at carroll in fort wayne um same kind of thing uh, just speed of play um, athletically physicality wise uh, athletically he's good um, got some pace to him got some agility um, he, we got to get him in the weight room. Uh, looks the physicality is has, has getting knocked around a little bit. He's he's held up to it well, um, uh, but we we need him to be able to be a bit more physical. Uh, but he's uh, you know he's a guy that uh, could contribute some time out on that out on the flanks for us. Okay, how about uh, Mamadou Sal? Mamadou, another guy from from Indianapolis. Got a lot of guys. Got a lot of guys local, um, yeah. and that's that's great. Um, I'm really excited about. Friends and family and parents and whatnot. You know, we should be able to have a lot of guys come out for games. Uh, Mama, like I said, Mamadou's from Indianapolis. Mamadou, um, he's got uh, he's got a lot of natural ability um, that hasn't necessarily been totally refined yet, um, and so he's living a lot on instinct. Um, and, he, and he's done well. Um, you know, he. I think that uh, Mamadou's uh, potential is is very high just because he's starting. You know, he is fairly early. Like a lot of refinement still to go. Um, but but that natural ability, natural athleticism, um, it's it's going to give him a good base, um, sure. and there's there's opportunity for him if he'll um, you know listen, if he'll work on his game, come off season throughout the season to get in extra touches, get in extra sessions. Um, he's got a lot of potential. He's primarily going to be a center back for us, um, and that's that's a spot where. You know, unfortunately, kind of like goalkeepers, you know, you, you make a mistake and you can pay back there. You know, right. forward, now you make a mistake, central midfield, you got a lot of guys still behind you that are going to help. You don't have a lot of chances to make mistakes in the back. You got to be, you got to be on point all the time. Um, and so, trying to smooth out some of those rough edges is 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 our going to be our goal with Mamadou as a as a coaching staff. And how about Dalen Troutman? Uh, Dalen uh, from Pike High School, another guy from Indianapolis. Uh, had a really good program, a lot of success over there. Uh, Dalen, uh, I, I see some some Dalen in 
in, in Teddy. Um, a lot of athleticism, um, works hard, strong, physical kid. Um, that's definitely uh, that transition aspect for him should be pretty good. Uh, speed of plays definitely faster than what he's used to. Um, but uh, like I say, Danny, he's, he's willing to work, puts in the work. Um, he's, he's healthy. Uh, so there's opportunity for him as well. He's primarily played as an outside back. We may push him forward a little bit into the into the wide midfield spot because uh, he's he's got some pace to get forward and get involved in the attack. Um, but but one of those wide positions is probably going to be his best bet. All right, then from Harrison, Ohio, how about Michael Hall? Yeah, Michael's uh, Michael's a guy that came to us late. Um, athletic, big, tall kid. Um, graduated a year ago. Played club with uh, with one of our other guys. I think we haven't gotten to quite yet. Um, uh, and so he's um, attitude wide, work rate wise has been great. Um, he's uh, hasn't been full into soccer, haven't been out of high school for years, so played some indoor, hasn't played quite as much recently as some of the other guys. And so he's had, um, for lack of a better word, kind of had an uphill battle, kind of getting back into shape, getting back into form. Um, but uh, like I say, with it, from a size standpoint, he's a little bit like I say, he's a little bit older, a little bit more mature. Um, and so from that aspect, um, uh, he's a you know, good kid, works hard, uh, good to have on the team. I'm excited for for his potential once he kind of gets 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 back into form. All right. Then last but not least, out of Lawrenceburg, Indiana, how about Trevor Linking? Yeah, Trevor's Trevor's the teammate that I mentioned. Um, Trevor's going to be a load. Um, he's about six five, two fifteen. Um, He's, he's a hoss um, up front, um, and he's going to be a load for opposing center backs to deal with. Um, played at a high-level club-wise, played a fairly small high school, um, went pretty deep into, into the state finals. I, I feel for their high school coach losing them because they're losing, losing a big part of their team, and, and their losses are gain. Um, but he, um, if, we can, if we can get his speed of play, if we can get him being able to link up with um, – with our midfielders, uh, both wide and central, um, it's going to be a good thing for us. Um, he's got to say with with his uh, with his physical presence, um, his biggest like say the, the being able to link up, being able to really use all six foot five and two hundred and fifty pound two hundred fifteen pounds, being able to throw that weight around. Yeah. Uh, that's that's going to be a game changer for us. We've got to get him to to play that big though. Um, you know, I don't want to say that he plays small, but he could he could throw that weight around even more than he does, um, and when he does get to that point that he is doing that, we're going to be in good shape because that's that's a load that's a load right. that those center backs are going to have to deal with, um, and so I'm 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 excited about his future as well. All right, let's talk really briefly about the schedule. What are some of the games you already have circled on sure, the calendar? Sure, sure. Well, you know, obviously game one. Um, you know, just first, you know, we got a scrimmage this Saturday, first regular season games, the 23rd up at Huntington. Um, we're we're a bit of uh, road warriors this year um, in that uh, schedule worked out that we're on the road a bit more than we are at home. Um, uh, just a couple off the top of my head. Um, I don't know the date. I know we head across town to play Earlham, um, so I'm excited for that for the community uh, yeah. to be able to, you know, uh, show, hey, this is, you know, I, Earlham's been around for a while. They've kind of been established, but, hey, we're the kind of the new kids in town. Uh, you know, let's, let's, let's jump right in and see what we can yeah. do. Um, I think that there will be... Um, Bit of rivalry just with you know just cross town schools. Right. Um, obviously, uh, when we kick off uh, River States conference, conference competition, that's that's the part of the season that matters. Um, you know, um, I had a coaching colleague at one point say, "Hey, there's there's two two seasons in every season. Uh, there's the kind of the non conference, and then there's the conference. You know, nobody gets into the conference tournament purely based off of what they do during non conference. The conference part's really the part that matters, right. um, and so." Um, we're um, we've got an uphill battle. I've been seeing some of the coaching polls that have been coming out. Um, you know, we are in, uh, particularly at the top of our conference, maybe the best conference in the country. Uh, two of our teams in, in Rio and West Virginia Tech uh, both lost. Uh, Rio lost in the national championship game. Tech lost, I think, quarterfinals, semifinals in the national tournament. Both of them finished in the top ten of the national poll. So. Um, you know, there's, I don't know that there's another conference in the country that's got two teams that finish that highly. Um, so, you know, we've got, we've got some work. Um, the guys are, I'm excited about it. The guys are excited about it. Uh, being able, you know, the, the nice thing, uh, there's, if there's a nice thing about being in that tough of a, of a conference, it's that, hey, look, if we can win our conference, we got a shot to win the whole thing. 
Yeah. Um, you know, it's a, a legitimate shot. Um, and so I'm excited. I'm excited for those two games to pit ourselves against the two two of the best teams in our conference, two of the best teams in the country, um, to see. Hey, this is where we want to be. Um, you right. know, we're a first-year program. Um, from the polls that I've seen, nobody expects us to compete with those guys. So I'm kind of, um, I'm, I'm excited. I got a little bit of a chip on my shoulder now that I'm seeing how uh, kind of the respect that we're getting. Um, and, and you know, we haven't done anything to, to deserve respect yet. Sure. Um, but I'm, I'm definitely excited about the opportunity to be able to prove a number of teams wrong. All right, we're definitely looking forward to it and being a part Excellent. of the journey here. Excellent. Thank Thanks you very much. Thanks for your time today. There you have it from Steve Moore, the men's soccer head coach here at IU East, talking a little bit about his team's inaugural season. We'll be right back with more Inside IU Sports.